Okay, so this is the bottom of the stand, um, and so this is what allows me to, to focus. Um, so essentially what I've done is I've created two, two floating elements. I've got this piece right here, and then this piece right here. And what's connecting them in the uh, on the edges here is uh, just a standard drawer pull. I use the full extension uh, drawer pull. On this one, the smallest I could find was uh, 14 inches. And uh, so that's, that's essentially what I'm using. And um, uh, this looks very complicated, but it's actually not complicated. Um, so I've got, I've got this floating. I've got the drawer rails here. So when I move this, it slides in and out. And uh, you can change up the handle. Uh, the trick here is, uh, it's, it's a little hidden, but inside here is a T-nut. And I've put a little reinforcement here and reinforcement there, but essentially I put a T-nut there, um, and that T-nut is, is uh, on this bar right here. This bar is connected to the frame, this frame. Here, I've got a hole straight through the, the front of it, and um, using uh, just two nuts here and two nuts there, um, I've tightened those in so that they, they lock. So the idea here is as, as I turn the, this screw that's uh, mounted in here push, pulls or pushes the frame forward and backwards. While here, this is just a, a through hole and by turning it, it stays in position. The, these essentially just lock into place and hold it in position. I'm trying different uh, handle combinations, but uh, the cool thing is I can take the handle off. Yeah. Put a little T-nut on there. And it comes right off. And it's going to fall, I know it. I can play around with different configurations. So what I'm thinking about doing is... There we go. It's coming, it's coming. There we go. What I'm thinking about doing is... Uh, um, making multiples so I can put it in the middle if that works out best put it on the end and then you know give me a little more torque on it so um, but yeah so pretty pretty straightforward and that just it just sits there and rotates in place uh, on the top uh, essentially all I've done is just apply a panel there just for cosmetics it doesn't really do anything um, and then the front standard is going to ride on top of that I'm going to mount it directly onto that all right so I'm going to put it together and then show you fully fully extended. Uh, so this is the base, um, fully extended. You can see I've got the full extension uh, drawer um, uh, channel there. And uh, so it has gone essentially from here to here, and then when it's collapsed, it's back down in here. So it gives me a good, good 14 inches of extension. Um, the, great, the great thing is, uh, you know, when you're doing a large format, the further apart you go, that's for your close-up work. So uh, I think we're good there. Um, it is, I can take it apart. I've, if I screw this far enough, all right, that comes detached. And then inside, with a regular just clasp, there you go, comes right apart. So there you go, there's the, the, two, the two pieces. Um, these are rated for like 200 pounds, so I'm not going to get, you know, as it's extended, it's not going to droop. So I feel very, very confident. And that's why I use two of them, so that uh, it gives me the maximum stability. But as you can see, this, as, as this rod spins, it just uh, um, stays in place. And I've used these two nuts here um, 
Let me get a little closer. I've used these two nuts here, and I just torqued them so that they're tight and they're holding in place. Um, there's a better way of doing that. I just didn't have the, uh, essentially, where you take, you take a, 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 a bushing and then with a set screw, and you can put it in. So, yeah, it's the same, same thing. All right. To put it back together. Place. 